Konstantinos, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for doing this. I should say, Eferesto. Paracalo. There you go. Um, let's talk about this study, this survey. Can you tell us about the expectations um, concerning the survey results and were you surprised by the outcome? Well, first of all, I, I would like to let you know that I'm here on behalf of the society, the Greek, uh, the Hellenic uh, Society of the Study and Control of AIDS. So it's not my study. Okay, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would say I was not surprised. I was a bit disappointed by the results because uh, we, we work in a certain uh, environment that this knowledge is spread to all my colleagues in, around the clinic and all of, our, of the people we follow in the clinic. But apparently it's not spread to the rest of the society. And I was quite disappointed, I, I would say, by the results of this survey. How much does stigma play in that? Uh, the biggest role for the low rates of awareness on U equals U, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, stigma plays the biggest role on that. Would you say that that is sort of one of the biggest reasons for the lack of awareness in U equals U? Otherwise, how would you explain it? I think there are three reasons. First of all, it's stigma that accompanies HIV infection since the very beginning. Uh, the second uh, part is because of the lack of education. We don't have in our formal curriculum, we don't have sexual education in our schools. And this creates a gap between sexual health awareness and uh, in, even in the very young, at the very young age. I think that's everywhere though, don't you? I mean, even if you look at sort of even the United States, sex education is basically vanished and we don't talk about it. And the third uh, reason for that, I think is uh, lack of political will because thinking back, I, I cannot remember of any campaign on U equals U by the ministry or the government. It's all based on NGOs and healthcare professionals. So the rest of the society that ha has not heard about U equals U. And do you think that that lack of understanding based on the results of this survey is really specific to Europe? I, I, or do you, would you expect, based on what you've seen, to see this much more widespread? Uh, I would expect that it could be even worse in other parts of the world, if you think that stigma is even worse in, in, in other uh, countries, I guess. Uh, so I think it's not a European phenomenon, it's global. Yeah. In your opinion, what do you think is needed to revive the U equals U statement uh, for it to really be understood and implemented more broadly? Well, it's not a matter of revival. It's a very much a live message, U equals U, I think, and it changed the lives of millions of people. Changed my life. Yeah. And our lives yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, so the point is to spread this uh, live message to, to everybody. Uh, and to do that, I think we need to put our forces on campaigns uh, that could spread this message to the public, to the rest of the society, and not stay in the closed circle of the HIV, community. Of the community, yeah. Yeah. Constantinos, it's a real pleasure. Thank you for um, Thank sharing the, these survey results.